roof mount solar system, ground mount solar system. Which is the safest and most effective way to install solar panels for your home? We're going to be answering that question and much, much more in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their home set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And of course, here at Solar Surge, we use clean renewable energy, solar power, and sometimes battery backup systems as well. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on this channel, you're going to find all things related to home renewable energy systems, uh, battery storage systems, and emergency backup power for your house. And so in today's video, what we're going to be talking about, though, is a question that we often get, which is, what is the best way to mount solar panels? Is it the traditional roof mount system, or is it the ground mount system? So we're going to be talking through all of that today. You know, before you get started down this path, I think it will be helpful for you to ask yourself, what's most important for you in terms of this solar investment? Is it maximizing the dollar for dollar investment return? Is that, you know, getting the best dollar for dollar return on investment your main priority? Or is it having the, the best performing solar system possible, even if that means paying a slightly higher premium? Now, the traditional roof mount solar system is going to be, in most cases, the best dollar for dollar payback. And the reason is because when you install solar on a roof, you can use the roof rafters or the roof trusses as the structural support for the system. So we just use a few pieces of lightweight aluminum rail and mounting brackets and a four and a half inch lag bolt that bolts into the roof rafters or trusses and that makes the structural support for the system. You know, important thing to keep in mind when you're talking about a solar power system, we have to go through the same engineering and permitting process as if you were building a new building or building an addition onto your home. And the solar system also has to meet the same wind load and snow load rating as the structure itself. So if you're in an area that's prone to hurricanes or if you're in an area that receives you know, a high level of snowfall in the wintertime, we have to meet the same standards as the home builder itself to make sure that the solar system is going to stand up over time. So one of the things that drives down cost and helps speed up installation for the roof mount system is that you can use the roof rafters as your structural support. Now on the other hand, if you look at with a ground mount system, we essentially have to build our own ground mount structure, which you may not even see it underground. We actually have to install these four and a half feet deep by one foot diameter uh, concrete footers around these vertical posts. And that's what anchors down the metal structure to help achieve that, that wind rating that we talked about. However, all of that is a lot more expensive because once you do the concrete work and you build the metal frame and you have to trench to, to deliver underground wiring back to the house, you then still have to use the same aluminum rails and mounting clips to mount the solar panels on top of that. So when you add up all the additional labor, expense, and sometimes even rental of a, a trenching machine to deliver underground wiring to the house, oftentimes a solar system could cost 20 to 25% more overall cost to do a ground mount system. Now, there are some advantages to the ground mount system, and that is that if you have plenty of open field, like in this, this particular home we're looking at here, you can mount the solar panels in an area where they're facing the, the optimal orientation, which in the northern hemisphere is, is facing southward, and you can place them in an area where you get little or no shading. So the solar panels will perform better because of some more efficient site considerations in a lot of cases. The other advantage to the ground mount system is that the solar panels stay cooler. You know, on a roof mount system, it's not uncommon, like where I live here in Virginia, it's not uncommon in the summertime for temperatures on the roof to be north of 130 degrees Fahrenheit. And so solar panels, just like a lot of other electrical equipment, when the temperature starts to get very hot, the efficiency goes down. And so for solar panels, it's, it's the same thing. So when you're looking at a roof mount system, typically they have to operate at higher temperatures, which, which brings the cell efficiency down. Whereas with a ground mount system, they're at ground level, so the ambient air is cooler, plus it's typically open air behind it, so, that, so there's, there's breeze going and the panels can cool themselves more efficiently. So 
To summarize, the ground mount system does offer higher performance. And if I had to summarize it, it's, you're looking at anywhere in the range of 8 to 12% overall more, you know, more efficient performance. However, you're looking at a price increase in most cases of about 20 to 25%. So if just tracking the dollar for dollar payback return is your priority, the roof mount system is still the way to go. Now another question that we get oftentimes is, well, if I install solar on my roof, how do I know my roof's not going to leak? Uh, and that's a great question. We actually did a, a previous video about six months ago entitled, Will Solar Panels Make My Roof Leak? Where we show you the multiple levels of waterproofing protection that go around that structural attachment to the roof rafter. Uh, essentially, you have a, a quarter inch pilot hole that drills through the shingle into the roof rafter. There's a silicone sealant applied into the pilot hole there's then a, a sheet of aluminum flashing with a raised bevel that goes around the pilot hole, allowing rainwater to flow around. And then when that four and a half inch lag bolt is bolted in there to the, the structural attachment to the rafter, there's a rubber gasket washer on top of that bolt. So once that, once that bolt pinches into that rafter and it compresses that washer, you have a 100% watertight seal. But if you'd like to see exactly how that works, go back and take a look at the previous video. Uh, I know a lot of folks that are new homeowners or maybe they just had their roof replaced are concerned about, you know, well, I don't want to put a lot of holes in my roof, I just paid for a new roof. And actually, the best time to install solar is right after you've purchased a new home or right after you've installed a new roof. And the reason is because typically both the roof and the solar are going to be 30-year warranted systems. The other benefit is that the solar panels sort of provide a first level of defense against any kind of environmental uh, issue. So whether you're talking about sunlight, UV light, precipitation, the solar panels are going to receive all of that, the brunt of that first, which actually does provide some protections for the shingles that are underneath. So folks, this has been a brief discussion of the advantages of roof mount versus ground mount solar power systems. Um, as always, if you're getting good value from the information we have on the channel, please make sure you click on that like button. I know I say like button all the time, but you know, if YouTube and the other platforms don't see people interacting with the video, then they'll just bury it and go on to something else. So I appreciate you hit the like button. Also click on the subscribe button if you haven't already, so that that way when you, you know, we have new videos coming out, you'll be notified of that. Uh, and of course, if you're in the process of evaluating solar options for your home, and you need to get a price quote on either a roof mount option or a ground mount option, then feel free to reach out to us at the link below. Uh, it'll just take you to our website where you can schedule a short call with one of our system designers and then we can put together some options and some numbers for you. Well folks, thanks again for tuning into the Solar Surge channel today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.